So, Jaime Munguia gets the win over Sergey Derevianchenko last night. My prediction, right down to a T. I said it was going to be a banging fight. They were going to come forward. It was going to be a bomb burner. Derevianchenko ain't no pushover. He give anybody a tough fight. Jaime Munguia is young. He's coming to bring it. And I said that I didn't see a stoppage in this fight because that's how tough Devery and Chango is. I said I see, I do see Devery and Chango getting dropped. And he got, I said I see Jaime stop dropping him to the body. Devery and Chango getting up to finish the fight. Thank you. Thank you, Jaime, for winning me some money. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, my man. Good fight. This is the first fight you see Jaime Munguia really hurt. This, when people say we wanted Jaime Munguia to step up, you know, we wanted to see him fight some real champions, you know, somebody up there. He hasn't done that yet. Didn't mean that Devin Chanko wasn't going to be a tough test. Devin Chanko gives anybody a hard outing, bro. He gave Jamal Charlo a, hard, a, a tough fight. Um, they triple G fought him too, right? That was a good scrap. He fought, did he fight Danny Jacobs? Did he fight Danny Jacobs too? He give anybody a good fight, man. Devery and Chico's just, he's solid, bro. Good fighter. Decent pop in his punches. Solid chin. Um, Only problem with Devery and Chico, man, he starts to fade. He fades towards the end of the fight like I said he would he started fading and got his punches started getting a little bit more sloppy but um he has power he just don't he just don't have that that crazy thumping power because uh Jaime was hurt through the accumulative punches and stuff like that but if he had that real heavy power man like some real thudding power he probably would have stopped Jaime Munguia when he had him hurt but Never and Chanko got decent enough power. You know, it's nothing where it's going to keep people all the way off you. But Jaime, if you notice, though, he wasn't straight bull rushing, like straight bull rushing uh, Never and Chanko, though. Never and Chanko put up a damn good fight, man. That was a good fight, man. That was more entertaining than the Tiafimo Lopez Josh Taylor fight, man. I love watching every fight with Devery and Chenko was in is always exciting, bro. Always, always. Javi Munguia, he also showed he got a good beard on him, though. He got a decent chin because Devery and Chenko is probably, to date, I have to go back and look, It's probably one of his hardest hitters lately, but um, to date. But he showed good, um, good chin, and he was patient. Javi showed patience, but he's 20. How old is Javi Munguia? 25 years old? Okay, Devery and Chanko was a good fight, but no more Devery and Chankos, man. We need quality fights from Jaime to see where Jaime Munguia really is. This was a good fight for him, though. It was a brawl. It was a bang out. But did we really see anything from Jaime Munguia against a Devery and Chanko? I mean, we sure he had a good beard. He showed patience. But we want to see somebody with a higher skill level in there with Jaime Munguia, man. And see how he does against them. Like a Jamal Charlo. Somebody like that. Like a Jamal Charlo. Or a... Uh, what they what they fighting at? 168, right? Jaime Munguia is at 168. I think that fight was at 168. I think so. Um, we, I want to see him in there with uh, Edgar Belanga. See if he can, if he can deal with Belanga's power. Uh, Canelo That probably never happened But just saying um, David Benavidez yeah, I want to see him with these kind of fights Caleb Plant I would, This is who I want to see Jaime McGee step up to I mean come on man He got a whole lot of, How many fights Jaime McGee got now He got about Is he in his 40 fights yet 30 something fights He's 25 bro He should have already been Fighting these kind of dudes already all right, so it's been past time. Nonetheless, very good fight. What's next for Jaime Munguia? Like I just said, they got to throw him in there with some real comp some real deal competition, man. 
all right? Uh, the, we got to see over there with somebody real deal so we can gauge how this kid, how good this kid really is, man. Devery Chanko don't got really nothing to prove. He, he's already battle-tested. He been in, all of, been in lots of wars. His resume is proven. See, that's the thing with fighters like Devery Chanko that really start to fall into the realm of uh, Game Brazado realm -ish, You know what I mean? They take over tough fights. They resume is solid as fuck. They just don't have the wins. And they, you know, they never become world champions like that. You know what I'm saying? But solid dude, Devery Chanko, man. The, them dudes over there is tough, man. Those those Eastern European guys is tough, bro. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the fight between Jaime Magia and uh, Sergey De uh, Devryanchenko. Drop a comment. Y'all know what it is. Travel like boxing. Catch y'all later. Peace.